a typical wine bottle. You know, like none of us have wine bottles right now. <laughs> I'm sure there's plenty of them floating around out there. Ask your neighbors. That's how I get a lot of mine is from my friends and neighbors. It's my story and I'm sticking to it. Hi, Hallie here. Thank you for jumping in on Hallie's Creations. I hope you enjoy this next share. And without any further ado, let's do this. Don't forget to subscribe and notify for you won't miss out on any more videos. So this is just to show you what some of them look like. This is just taking your typical wine bottle. You know, like none of us have wine bottles right now. <laughs> I'm sure there's plenty of them floating around out there. Ask your neighbors. That's how I get a lot of mine is from my friends and neighbors. It's my story and I'm sticking to it. But anyway, um, I'm going to show you how you can decorate them and just make them different. Each one can be different. They don't have to be all the same way. You can use lace and then the twine and then just, you know, some different um, florals for embellishment. Little bow. This one was made for a friend of mine whose sister passed away and I just gave her some little encouraging words, love, agape, hope, faith, things like that. So anyway, um, you can put little special messages on these as well. So anyway, that's uh, what we're going to learn today is we're going to learn, hi Rachel, we're going to learn how to make these fairy light bottles. And if you want to just do a plain jute one, you can do that too. You don't have to put the lights in it. This is um, for a wedding display that I'm going to be working on. So, while you're getting yourself something to, a beverage to relax, watch this video. I'm going to set these to the side and we're going to get going. What you want to do is, I've told you before, Mod Podge is a crafter's best friend. Yay, I love Mod Podge. We're going to use Mod Podge to do these. And I'm kind of handicapped. I cut my finger really good and it's pretty deep, so I'm going to try but it might be a little sloppy and I apologize for that in advance. Um, but I'm going to show you how to do this little wrap technique. Super easy peasy. Okay, and then these lights, Amazon.com. So you can get these from Amazon and you can get them in the multicolor lights. Just the white lights or even just the color light that you want to do. Here's a sample that it doesn't have to be a wine bottle. It could be your Jack Daniels bottle. Or it could be one of those big mega bottles. <laughs> like I said, I have a lot of these given to me. And yeah, <laughs> I'm going to show you how to repurpose your wine bottles and then you can gift them as night lights and it's fairy lights. I call them fairy lights. So what we're going to do first is we're gonna do this one with jute. And this is a little sponge here, a little Mod Podge. And we're just gonna kinda do this quickly for um, so you can kinda see how to do it. And what's really cool about these two is once you figure out how to, you know, you do your first one, then you can just go for it. I mean, each one's different. Go on Hallie's, oh, got another thing. Go on Hallie's Little Treasures and you can see different ones that I've done besides the ones I just showed you. Um, I knew I was going to be messy, so I had that ready to go, just a wet paper towel. And the trick on this is to take your jute and you want to start it down like, like so. See how we have it going down here? Just do it down so. And this is where my finger got, kind of gets in the way. And you're going to wrap it over that and just kind of swirl it around. Trying to get it where you can see it and see how you just swirl it over that one piece that you that you brought down so that top looks nice and clean okay and you're just going to swirl that down as far as you want to swirl it down and it's as easy as that it looks a lot harder than it is and i put the mod podge on first you can also use glue mod podge is better i like it because it dries it gives that if you can see this effect on here, how it's um, kind of like a frosted glass. That's the Mod Podge after it dries on the bottle, and it is really pretty. See how it's just, and I use these little dabbers to get that little effect. Okay, so we're gonna just wrap this around, and then what you can do too is you can take your Mod Podge as you're doing it, and just kind of go over it. 
Mod Podge, remember, dries clear. So you can put it on top of your twine and it's still going to look really good because it's going to dry clear. All that stuff has been dry clear. So for time's sake, I'm just going to wrap it to this tip here, but actually I'm going to wrap it way down. But for time's sake, for the video, hi Debbie. I'm just going to wrap it to this point. And what you do is you just bring it when you're finishing it on the Mod Podge. I always feel like I have to hurry because I, I try to do these under half an hour. Just bring it over, take your little Mod Podge, dab it down there. And then what I do is I use a straight pin many times and I'll just take a straight pin and I'll just pop that in there. And that'll hold that in place while it dries. So if you have a straight pin, pop it in there and that will keep it dry and then when it dries you just pull the straight pin out. But make sure when you pull the straight pin out that you're holding your twine and then pull the pin out because you don't want to pull all your work on them. Okay? So that's, like I said, I'm going to take this all the way down. All the way down. Because I want to really bling it out. Then I have this really cool ribbon. You get this at Michael's, Joann's, any fabric store, pretty much any um, novelty or whatever party place. But this ribbon is that kind that does this. And I was looking at it the other day going, wow, that would look really cool on a bottle. So we're gonna put that, we're gonna stretch it. And like I said, you can use anything. This is just, you know, an idea that I had. And I thought, I'm gonna do that for you guys. Stretch it. And we're just gonna modge podge that off. Two is that you don't have to be perfect on this because we're gonna embellish it with some um, rhinestones and some pearls and things. So I have some pearls here that we can all over the place. And some rhinestones. So we'll do that. Get back over there. Get this going here. And all you have to do, because remember I said the Mod Podge dries clear, so just Mod Podge that on, smoosh it down. Now you can use a glue gun, the only thing is when you use a glue gun on this stuff, one, um, it dries a little clumpy, so if you use the Mod Podge and you're just patient with it, that's going to show you a cleaner finish, okay, and it will dry, so I'm just going to go for it. So just Mod Podge that on. And it will dry clear. You see the look on that, how we're getting it to look like that? So what I did on this one is I'm just taking the pins with the little tops on it for they're easy to find when I'm taking them off. And these are working quite nicely to hold it down. And they don't have to be perfect to get your main hold down because you're going to go back over it with the Mod Podge again. Okay. So that gives you an idea of what it looks like from the front. Okay. Just the pins in the back just to hold the fabric down if you're using lace or something like this. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna embellish it a little bit, okay? And that's just a matter of what I'm gonna do on this one. See how all these seams are going down here? After I do all the Mod Podge on, it dries really good. I'm gonna take these little beads and I'm gonna put them with the Mod Podge all over it. So it'll look really cool, okay? And I'll be, I'll be covering up those seams with that, and I'll mix them in with the, the pearls. And then what you can do, these are how these come in, the little cork from Amazon. So I want to show you this. They come, blue bottle. You can replace these batteries in here okay so they come with three batteries they will run off of two so if you want to kind of um, stretch your battery like that you can do that they pop down into your bottle like I showed you before and that will bring that out 
You can also use like your, um, you can actually do this with any kind of bottle. You know, your Starbucks bottles that you get your, co your coffees in and stuff. That would be cute too. Just shove them down in there. Get down in there. I noticed on my videos I bite my tongue. <laughs> it's like, oh, okay. Not to know me, it's to know me. So, anyway. So that gives you an idea of what it's going to look like. And then if you want to put a bow on it, I've showed you before how to do bows, but let's just do a bow real quick. You can just tie your bow on, because this is a bottle if you want, or you could do your little fancy bow thing. Right on. For me, I'm going to do a little fancy bow thing when I'm done with it, because I like the, the fluffy. It's so fluffy! I like the fluffy bows. So, I'm trying to do this where you can see it. It's just a bow. Anybody can tie a shoe, can tie a bow, right? No, I have no curl. Okay, so anyway. Just tie your bow on. So basically, you're just going to mod podge this on, put your bow on, and then finish your jute, okay? And if you want to not to jute and you want to do ribbon, all you're going to do is wrap your ribbon around it. So I have these different bottles here. See how I didn't take this off? You don't need to if you're going to cover it. You just wrap your ribbon on it. And you just mod podge, you can mod podge this on or you can use a glue gun, okay? But you can ribbon it. And then tie your bow. This is pretty easy because it's just taking a bottle and decorating it. Now if you have a card, look at all the stuff I have on from the mod podge. Um, if you have a card that has like these cutouts on it, what I've done on one of my bottles, you can look at it on Hallie's Little Treasures. I take this off, okay? I just peel it off. But you can put these on your bottles too, and they look really cool. Okay. So I'm just going to give you this a visual, okay? So you would take this sticky stuff off the back, make it flat. And if you feel brave, you can actually peel this and make it a little bit thinner. Put that on your bottle. Mod Podge it on, decorate it up. Green okay. On this one, just to bring this in, I would use green ribbon because the bottle's green. I'll get these made up and then we will go from there as far as if you have questions or whatever, just um, personal message me. But that's it, just get your bottles out. If you have paint, you can paint on them. This is the beads that I'm showing you that I'm gonna do on this one. And you just glue your little flowers on. Super easy peasy. Again, this one is lace. So you would just mod podge the lace on. Line up your seam for it doesn't look bad. And then put a little bow on it. See how this one has silver in it, silver bow. And this is the type of bow that I did that other one out. If I was to pull this. Using the mod podge, just dabbing it lightly around and giving it that effect that after it dries you can ride on it twist your ribbon around however you want put some embellishments on it same thing red and white red and white kind of coordinate it and then this is the straight jute one this is just the simple jute bottle this is a beer bottle might be a soda bottle might be a beer bottle i don't know but anyway it's a bottle See on the bottom how I just brought it together and just smoothed it in. Took a pin, just poke that pin in, let it dry, then take the pin out. That's all you have to do. That's it for today. I hope you guys are staying home and staying safe. I wish I had more to share with you, but these are pretty easy. And thank you for coming, and um, we'll see you next time. Have a good day and a better tomorrow. Bye. Be safe and be well.